What if the thing you fear most is something others find trivial? Today, we delve into the world of uncommon fears. One ablutophobia, the fear of bathing. This phobia can sometimes be the result of a traumatic, water-related incident, especially if it involves bathing during juvenile years. This phobia can cause a great deal of social anxiety and friction as it can often result in unpleasant body odors. Many sufferers will grow out of this phobia as they get older. 2. Arachibuterophobia, a fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. Though arachibuterophobia may sound like a minor issue, this phobia likely stems from a fear of choking or inability to open one's mouth. While some sufferers may be able to eat small amounts of peanut butter, especially if it is not sticky, like many candy bar fillings, many will not eat peanut butter at all for fear of it sticking to the roof of their mouth. 3. Agoraphobia, the fear of open spaces. Agoraphobia is an unexplainable fear or anxiety of open, crowded places, which can eventually turn into a fear of leaving your home altogether. Agoraphobia is a form of anxiety disorder that affects over 200,000 Americans each year. In most cases, agoraphobia can stem from cultural or event-related occurrences. Things like the COVID-19 pandemic, 9-11, and mass shootings are frequently referenced as the main reason that people experience agoraphobia for arithmophobia, a fear of math. While many of us did not enjoy math class, arithmophobia takes this anxiety to the next level. This phobia isn't as much a fear of seeing numbers or symbols, as it is a fear of being forced into a situation where one has to do math, especially when that person's math skills are subpar. 5. Kyanophobia, fear of snow. Kyanophobia, the fear of snow, may seem unusual to some, especially those who find joy in winter activities. However, individuals with this phobia often associate snow with danger, such as accidents or getting trapped, possibly due to past traumatic experiences. While some might manage to be around small quantities of snow, others might avoid cold climates altogether to prevent exposure to snow. 6. Chirophobia, a fear of hands. This phobia can be a fear of one's own hands or another's hand. It is often the result of a traumatic event like a severe hand injury or a persistent condition like arthritis. 7. Ploophobia, a fear of newspapers. This phobia is often connected to the touch, sound, and smell of a newspaper. Sufferers may become anxious at the sound of a rustling newspaper of the smell of newspaper ink and paper. 8. Isoprophobia, fear of mirror, sometimes referred to as spectrophobia or catoprophobia, sufferers are often unable to look at themselves in a mirror. In more severe cases, this anxiety can also extend to reflective surfaces like glass or standing water. One genesis of this phobia revolves around the superstitions tied to mirrors. The fear of seeing something supernatural or breaking a mirror and being cursed with bad luck can cause someone to develop isoprophobia. In other cases, this phobia can stem from low self-esteem and an aversion to seeing oneself. 9. Ergophobia, the fear of going to work. Ergophobia is an irrational and sometimes extreme fear of work and the surrounding features of work, like work-related tasks, social relationships, and public experiences. In most cases, ergophobia stems from a negative or traumatic work experience, like an embarrassing moment or abusive situation in the workplace, like being called out by a boss. 10. Globophobia, a fear of balloons. This phobia often originates from a traumatic event, especially at a young age when a popping balloon caused a jump scare and is also often linked to a fear of clowns, chlorophobia. Sufferers of this phobia can have varying levels of anxiety with some casually avoiding balloons, while more severe cases would prohibit being around places that simply may have ballooned. 11. Heliophobia, fear of sunlight. While the sun is essential for life, those with heliophobia have an intense fear of sunlight. This phobia can be linked to fears of sunburn, skin cancer, or damaging one's eyesight. Some sufferers may be able to tolerate indirect sunlight or sunrise and sunset, while others might go to great lengths to avoid any form of sunlight, often leading to a significant impact on their daily routines. 12. Hippopotomonstro sesquipedaliophobia, fear of long words. Hippopotomonstro sesquipedaliophobia is an extreme fear of long words, and in a twist of irony, the term itself is one of the longest words in the English language. This fear often stems from the intimidation or embarrassment a person might feel when confronted with long, complex words they may have difficulty pronouncing or understanding. This fear can particularly affect a person's educational or professional life, where exposure to complicated terminology may be unavoidable. 
Together, we can shed light on these uncommon fears and foster understanding. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.